Hello everybody, what's up? So, uh, I wanted to do a different type of video. I actually did a uh, tarot reading for those that are just feeling depressed, and this was like many moons ago, honey, which I'll leave a link to over here if you want to check it out. I also do everyone's, all, all the zodiac signs, weekly general tarot readings. Um, so if you're interested in that, check that out. But in this video, I just felt inclined to just do uh, a little freeform tarot reading uh, for those that are feeling anxious at this time, see what messages we can get uh, to hopefully uh, just bring some sense of peace or even at the very least, honey, maybe while you're watching this video and you're just vibing out with me, uh, that relieves some of your anxiety, y'all. So that's my hope with this. Um, if you enjoy this reading at all in any type of way, uh, I would love for you to let me know in the comments uh, that it does help you, right? Truly, like I struggle with anxiety a lot. Um, especially, I used to really struggle with it, y'all. Like it was really crippling. And I've gotten a lot better to hold at it, y'all. But especially as, as of recent times, I just, you know, I could just use some type of video just to like, just let me know everything's going to be okay, right? And so that's my goal with this reading in some type of way to just, at the very least, let you know that things are going to be okay, at the very least. While you may be feeling a little bit anxious right now over something in your life, just know that that sh too shall pass at some point, y'all. Um, so yeah, just vibe out with me a little bit, y'all. So let's just start getting into this reading. I'm going to be just pulling some cards as I go, so don't mind me. So let's just get into this first initial three cards here, y'all, before I get um, pulled clarifiers. Right now we have the Seven of Pentacles coming out here. So this is definitely an energy, y'all, of someone that is probably putting a lot of work into something that's, you know, you guys probably, you know, this would be dealing with like projects, right? This would be dealing with uh, even like relationships, platonic, romantic, family, what have you. Uh, just stuff that you've been actively putting a lot of energy into. Maybe some of you guys just have been having some anxiety and hoping that the uh, seeds that you've planted, the projects, the uh, time and energy that you put into something that at some point it's going to bring forth a harvest, right? At some point you're hoping that things just start working out for you and things just start to grow. Uh, some of you guys, I'm just getting as well. With this card, you may feel like the it doesn't matter how much energy you put into trying to uh, tend to these seeds, tend to these pentacles, it just feels as if um, it's all for nothing, that it's not, uh, there's no growth happening. But I do want to just point out that while you may only see such a tiny plant right here, right? And it's just like, you know, just a small little plant, with some few, a few leaves, right? You may get a hint that some things are working out, but look down below past the actual plant, the leaves. This individual doesn't see only uh, what's going on down here. He just sees this small amount here on top. Down here, you're putting your roots in here. The roots are growing, and this is almost essential, you guys, for anything that you want to work out long term, right? If you want a good harvest, yeah, you can have a good harvest um, uh, momentarily and be done like it would be like a quick come and go right you may have like a quick sense of satisfaction in regards to something but with something like this y'all this is where like you're going to have more of repeated harvest this is something that once it, like once the roots are really put in there um it's there to stay the blessings are there to stay right we always are so focused on just trying to have some good happen in our lives trying to manifest something beautiful that we often don't even consider like the length that we want it for or the impact that will have in term in long term right uh we usually just will think about in the present moment and that's what can cause a lot of anxiety as well is because it's like you are just seeing what's up here and that anxiety can just like have you spiraling just take a moment y'all and just breathe and remember that even if you're not seeing the fruits of your labor just yet just tell yourself that your roots are still growing and once your roots are done growing that's when your seeds are ready to start bearing fruit or vegetables honey whatever it is that you like right for me right now i don't know why y'all but i'm craving some potatoes honey so right now i'm growing some potato spuds i think that's what you call it right some potato spuds and then this king of wands so a lot of you guys i feel like th this is a common theme here i'm getting in that with like it's like for some of you guys you've been just go go going for so long you guys have been putting a lot of 
you know, trying to take charge in your life, right? Probably have a lot of people relying on you as the King of Wands is. There's usually a lot of eyes on this individual uh, because like they just like, almost as if like a lot of people are expecting high things from you and that can apply a lot of pressure to you to really you know have some things work out right maybe that's a level of why you're having anxieties because some of you guys may be experiencing a little bit of imposter syndrome right because it's just like you people are seeing you in this beautiful like powerful leadership role as the king of wands and it's just like you may not feel like you're fit for that role because um, you feel as if like these seeds, uh, these plants should be growing at a faster pace. This is more so, uh, y'all, about, you know, being kinder to yourself. Um, you know, don't set such a high standard for yourself. It's good to push yourself, y'all, but it's also important to give yourself the time to breathe. Give yourself the time to think things over, right? You don't always have to be go, go, going. If you're feeling anxious about no, I can't help but feel like for some of you guys, even watching this video might be a struggle for you. I mean, hopefully it's not because of the content, honey, but um, you might be feeling anxious because it's like, even while watching this reading, you're just thinking about all the things that you need to be doing. Stop. <laughs> right you stop feeling guilty about taking a moment for yourself because here's the thing and i always tell all of my friends this y'all if you want to take a break or if you're feeling just exhausted take that time for yourself and don't feel guilty about it because if you're feeling guilty and you're just in your head during the entire time that you're having a break it defeats the purpose of the break right you can see this as a way of investing in yourself and investing in your energy to take that break, to take a step away from the projects and just, you know, enjoy life a little bit, right? And stop feeling like you always have to be on the go. Stop feeling like you always have to create. Stop feeling like you have to always um, get some type of monetary gain out of your projects, right? It's okay to just have a simple passion project and just doing it because you love it and not doing it just because um, it makes you money even, right? You can have projects that are just important to you for your own creative expression. Um, but yeah, don't feel bad about taking a break, y'all, because if you're in your head while you're taking a break, it defeats the purpose in the sense that, like, you don't ever get too intense, you know? Take this moment even to unclench your jaw, unclench, you know, like, roll back your shoulders a little bit, right? I always have to do that for myself because it's like, especially during high anxious times, I always will catch myself just super just tense because it's almost like I'm constantly in survival mode, bracing myself for impact and the impact to just being the universe, honey. It always, like the past like year, it just feels like such a trying time for a lot of people, right? So let's get into this a little bit more. I'm gonna take this card as well. So let's get into this. With this Ace of Cups, this is a card that I actually wanted, an extra card that wanted to come out. Usually I just like to do threes. So definitely I'm getting this sense, you guys. I mean, this is such a beautiful card, right? Um, I do want to just imply that with this Ace of Cups, this is almost like an affirmation in that your harvest is going to be very profitable, right? Your cup's going to overflow um, once that harvest season comes for you. So have patience at this time. Don't, you know, truly, I keep, imposter syndrome really keeps coming to mind. So if you don't know what imposter syndrome is, I'll give a quick synopsis of it, but I do suggest you guys looking into it more. But impos imposter syndrome is essentially like feeling like um, let's use myself for example, right? I'm, if I'm experiencing imposter syndrome in terms of tarot, right? It would be a sense of where it's like every reading that I do, I just have extreme anxiety over the fact of like, if I do the wrong, like, it's like, you know, if I'm uploading videos, I always will tell myself, again, I don't do this actually, but like, if I were to have imposter, imposter syndrome, I'd be telling myself, it's like, oh, this is the one, this is the upload that I do that everyone's going to think that I'm just a fraud, realize that I'm not that wonderful, and that they think I am, and they're just going to abandon me, right? That's the logic, essentially, of, of imposter syndrome, where it's like, you don't feel like you're deserving of something, and you just feel as if, like, you just feel like a fraud, right? And a fraud just sounds super aggressive, but it's just, uh, it's definitely usually the type of experience someone will have when they don't see their own power, when they don't 
celebrate themselves enough, right? And it's common for everybody. I feel like we all at some point in our life experience imposter syndrome. It's just really important to y'all to catch yourself when you're going through it and don't don't treat your imposter syndrome as the, um, the reality because it's not. Uh, we have the full moon in Cancer. A personal is issue reaches a resolution. Now, honey, this is a beautiful card to have for a reading like this, right? Because, I mean, most people are having anxiety over some type of personal issue, whether it is with the Seven of Pentacles or whether it's just with life, honey. Your personal, I mean, for me personally, honey, my personal issue is just this life right now, right? I'm ready for things to just go back to normal, honey. Um, so this is a very good uh, foreshadowing card for you guys. You know, remember what I I said at the beginning this too shall pass whatever it is you're feeling anxious about and this moon card this full moon in cancer is just reaffirming that message y'all so we have the page of swords coming in with the knight of swords for some of you guys i can't help i can't help but feel like there's someone that you're wanting to reach out to there's someone that you have your eye on that you're wanting to have some type of communication with but maybe in your head about communicating with them right maybe you're afraid of how they will receive you so this is i feel like kind of like who what's going on with you right now when i see this knight of swords i see someone who has good intention wanting to go forward and once they start taking those steps forward then they start getting in their head and they pull back right so it's this constant back and forth energy this constant yo-yoing of emotions never really being able to commit to one specific thing even though your intentions are wanting to communicate wanting to go forward in some type of connection but this page of swords here this is letting me know of like someone like you there is definitely just something that you're want, wishing to have communication with but there is just this constant fear of where it's just like maybe you think if you were to communicate with them five of wands that there would be conflict right maybe you feel like this person's out of your league even or if you feel like if you open up to some person that they aren't going to receive you in a good way right and it's just like an overall um insecurity or anxiety over reaching out and communicating shooting your shot essentially with somebody now obviously it just doesn't have to be in a romantic sense but i do get a sense it is a romantic sense for some of you guys or at the very least um just someone that you feel really close and personal to because with this ace of cups as well this is a card of opening up your heart Right, so this is definitely a push for some of you guys. If you are feeling anxious about communicating with somebody, open up your heart to them, be vulnerable. This is something that I always personally practice is that it seems extremely scary to be vulnerable and to be open about what it is that you're thinking. But with me, I had this kind of aha moment of realizing of where it's like, everyone has these types of feelings. Everyone, like everyone's normal, just no one talks about it, right? Because everyone's afraid of being judged. Everyone's afraid of how the other person will perceive them, right? So I take uh, comfort in the fact that if I'm just ex expressing my emotions and then expressing my thoughts and feelings, um, I've yet to really experience this, uh, toxic experience when I'm just like completely transparent with someone with my feelings because nine times out of ten they usually can relate to it in some type of way. And put it in perspective, honey, if they don't receive you when you open up your heart to them, right, and it does actually turn out to be that five of wands, right, where there is some type of conflict or just like it doesn't pan out, right? you know put it in perspective that gives you just a closure of the situation so you no longer feel anxious about it and you can just continue moving on with your life and find someone else to open up your heart to right because you're so deserving of love you're so deserving of having your cup fill over and runneth over right honey um so don't convince yourself that you aren't deserving of it right just take the leap of faith right and i you know that i feel like that would be such a that, that's such a beautiful way to re remedy this anxiety that I'm sensing with this. So we have the Temperance card coming in. This is a card of patience, honey. And now I kind of was anticipating this card to come in just for this type of reading, right? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to really go into too much detail with this because the last thing someone that's experiencing anxiety needs to hear is to have patience, right? If you're able to have patience in something, then you wouldn't feel anxious about it, right? So it's almost insulting in some cases to be told, it's like, oh yeah, you're, anxiety, you're feeling anxious about a situation? Don't worry, it's going to work out. That doesn't do anything for me, at least. But this card also talks about just like a balancing of emotions. So let's get into this a little bit more. What deck do you want to use, y'all? I think we're going to use this mystical manga deck. 
I also put all the decks that I use in the description box below. If there is a deck that I am using, because I'm always cycling through my tarot cards uh, decks, uh, and you see one that I'm using that isn't in the description box, just let me know y'all and I will try to find it for you and give you a link. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can get from this temperance card. Any more substance with this, right? So let's get into this. Very interesting that we get this devil card here. So actually this is kind of bothering me to have, um, <laughs> all these cards out like this. So I'll just put these over here. Actually, we'll pull, pull them like that. So, there we go. Alright, y'all. So, let's get into this temperance card with a little bit more detail, right? Rather than me just saying, oh, balance your emotions and uh, practice some patience, honey. Like, let's go. So, we have this devil card coming in here. Um, now, with this devil card, this is almost like... I'm going to refer to this where it's just about ourselves, right? Because that's the only thing that we, that's the only thing we have control over is ourselves. This devil might be somebody out in the outside world that you need to be dealing with, right? But um, let's. I in my channel, I always like to self-reflect. I always like to have that personal development, that character growth with ourselves. So, this devil card. Maybe there's like a habit of yours. Maybe you've been hard on yourself, even, and you're just like, oh man, like I need to be eating better. I need to be working out. I need to be getting healthier, right? Or maybe if you've been really hard on yourself in terms of like working, right? As I was talking about before, where it's like you feel like you constantly need to be working. Um, but you feel guilty when you don't put energy into something, uh, don't put energy into it and you actually have like a, a habit of something, right? Maybe this is just like playing video game, you know, any type of thing that's like, that you're viewing as like a distraction, I guess, right? Um, I do get this sense of where it's just like some type of habit in your life that you're probably being pretty critical about. Um, I am going to just go with the storyline of um, adopting a healthier lifestyle just for the simplicity of relaying the messages of like the representation of what these cards mean but it, you know it could be anything right. So I can't help but feel especially with this aspect of wanting to get healthier right wanting to just develop healthier habits right there is this shift of a different approach. So continuing on with the narrative of you know getting healthier right? Maybe your approach is wrong in that if you're wanting to lose weight or you're wanting to gain weight, right? Um, your approach is that you want to lose the weight or gain the weight because right now you feel you're, you feel that you're unattractive. That's not the mindset that you want to have because that's just going to feel, fuel more anxiety, fuel more like self-hatred, right? Because you feel like you're coming from a place of feeling like you're lacking of something or that you're not good enough and that you need to improve. While we should all want to improve, we should be wanting to improve on something that's already beautiful and wanting to view ourselves as a beautiful project that is constantly growing. And so maybe you need to have a different approach when it comes to addressing these habits, right? Um, and I feel like that's kind of the key. If you've been struggling with being consistent in some aspect of your life, see your relationship with it. Look at how um, it's incorporated in your life and see if you just don't really have that healthy of a relationship with it, right? I feel like this is more about you guys developing a more... Just being more at peace with the actions that you're doing. Be okay with the decisions that you make. Be okay even if, even with this devil card, right? Be okay if you want to have that pizza, honey. Order that pizza. If, you know, if if you don't want to go to the gym today, be okay with it and be at peace with that decision. But don't make that decision and live to regret it. Don't be in your head about it and being like, oh man, I should have done it, right? There's just this sense of just needing to be okay with the actions that you take. I can't help it but feel like some of you guys need to be reminded that the world's not going to crash down if you decide to just put yourself first. It's okay to put yourself first. It's okay to put yourself as the priority because no one's going to be able to take care of you besides yourself. We're constantly teaching other people how to treat us and the best way to have other people treat us better is by us treating ourselves in a much better way, is, is by us seeing ourselves from a different perspective um, and really being able to respect ourselves, right? If we're able to respect and love ourselves, other people are going to see that and match that energy, y'all. So yeah, I really love you guys so much. I do hope this 
brought some sense of clarity or brought just even some just a few minutes of just relaxation honey um yeah i just want to say that i love you guys so much and whatever it is that you're feeling anxious about if you feel like talking about it in the comments below uh, we have such a beautiful lovely community here where we all just like talk about our stuff and give share perspectives share some thoughts and just support one another so if you do want to talk about it um definitely uh don't hesitate in reaching out in the comments below um and yeah guys i love you guys so much let me know if this has helped any at all um let me know if you enjoyed this type of thing maybe i can start doing this more often but i'm giving you guys all of my love take a deep breath with me before i close out this video honey we're gonna start on the count of three or on three rather i'm gonna take that deep breath in and then we're going to let it out together. And after I do, I'll do like a one, two, three, honey. Don't mind me, this is me doing this right off the fly. I just felt inclined to do it. So um, on the count of three, take that deep breath in with me and actually take that deep breath. Don't just be waiting out or just try to find a new video. I'll take this deep breath with me, honey. So one, two, three. Honey, do it again if you need to. I love you so much and I will be connecting with you hopefully very soon in the future. Bye guys.